Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam, become a bestie, all that good stuff. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. Remember, journey to 1K subs. We're still on that road to 1K. Thankfully, and I'm super, super ecstatic, and you guys are the first that I'm celebrating with. I finally hit 1K followers on Instagram. Finally, it took me forever. But um, I just want to say thank you for the love and support. Um, I know that the followers are not coming from you guys, but I still wanted to, you know, celebrate my wins, you know, with you guys. So, yeah, you know, thank you for the love and support on my social medias, on this channel, all of that. Definitely want to give a shout out to Threads. If you don't know, Threads is like a Twitter, but an Instagram version because Instagram created threads. So yeah, just wanna say hey to all the new subscribers. Hey to the new followers. Hey, hey, hey. And um, yeah, like I said, this channel, my social media pages, they can't go anywhere without you guys. Um, you guys make things happen for us creators, you know? So yeah, just, just wanted to say that. Um, also, this is the second week of January. How are you guys doing? How's your new year going? Like, are you staying on top of stuff that you wanted to stay on top of? Are you getting things done? Let's talk about it. Comment down below. And um, don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites. Everything will be linked down in the description. This week, I'm bringing you guys the last episodes of Too Hot to Handle. We are down to four more chapters and yeah, it's, it's bittersweet. It's finally coming to an end. It should have been ended, but it's all right. We finally made it. And yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me on this Too Hot to Handle journey. So I'm bringing you Too Hot to Handle, episode 10, chapter 37. So if you haven't seen chapter 36, which is a confessional, 35 um, and all of that definitely go check that out before you continue on with this one so you're not confused or none of that everything the playlist and all that is in the description so yeah let's just jump straight on into it all right episode 10 chapter 37 candace is going home and lana seems to have some important news for you lana is sending candace home I can't believe it. Candace looks just as shocked as you are. Candace, since arriving at the retreat, you have failed to commit to the process and have actively been an obstacle in other people's relationships. In order to allow current stronger connections to progress, it is time for you to leave the retreat. Candace jumps up from her chair. This is so unfair. I... Her lip quivers for a second, but she quickly masks her feelings with a glare. I'll make my exit then. I was bored here anyway. Henry stands up and walks over to her. Hey, don't say that. You've made some friends, right? Sarah joins him and smiles at Candace, who suddenly looks uncertain. Of course she has. We'll miss you around here. No one parties quite like you. To everyone's surprise... Jada stands up and pulls it into a hug. We're sorry, Candace. You must be gutted. It's okay to cry, you know. Candace's eyes fill with tears. I, I don't want to go home. A few contestants don't seem to believe her tears, but they are polite enough to stay silent. You watch Sarah walk over and give Candace a pat on the back. How do I feel about Candace leaving? I should. I'm going to wave goodbye to her. Candace and I might have had our issues, but I should let bygones be bygones. When Candace looks your way, you smile and wave goodbye. She returns the wave with a small smile of her own. After a few minutes and one more tearful look, Candace leaves the cabana. 
Everyone starts getting up, but then Lana lights up again. Josh, yes, and Sarah. Sarah shoots you a worried look and you can't help but feel the same. You start to wonder if you have accidentally broken any rules recently, but nothing comes to mind. We've been good, haven't we? The same thought seems to be flowing through Sarah's mind. Luckily, Lana soon puts your worries to rest. As we begin to enter the final phase of my program, it is time to recognize the progress that has been made and to give you a chance for redemption. I am offering you the opportunity to demonstrate restraint and growth in the private suite. This is a chance to get to know each other more deeply without distractions. You and Sarah share a big smile. No way. A night in the suite with Sarah? I think it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. Thanks, Lana. Oh, Lana. That was a terrific plot twist. Now you just need to tell us how much money is left in the prize fund. Sarah puts her arm around your shoulder and grins, inspiring a few grumbling remarks. You laugh and gently push it off to defuse the situation. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be good. Still, you see a few careful looks being exchanged. We got a night in the private suite. As you're getting ready for the suite, you browse through your selection of acceptable outfits. I need something special to wear tonight. Just then, you find the perfect thing. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm weak. I think we're just gonna have to go with this black one. Oh man. All right, earrings. I mean, we don't really need to wear no earring. Chain, we can put that on. Bracelet, I'm good. Facial piercings, I'm good. Save the look. Wow, you look amazing. Sarah's gonna be all over you. Thanks, Jada. I'm really looking forward to it. She gives you a wicked smile. So, are you going to take advantage of the privacy? You mean break rules? I don't know. It will be tempting, though. Want my advice? Of course. Well, I know you told me I shouldn't break the rules since it's almost the end, but I kind of feel that's exactly why we should follow our hearts. Like, yeah, the prize money is fab and all, but who knows how your relationship will work out once this is all over. I say, have a blast now. She gives you a warm smile, which you soon return. Thanks, Jada. I appreciate that. I just don't know if everyone else feels that way. Who cares about them? You do you. Anyway, I'm meeting Carter. Have fun tonight. I will. She beams at you and walks away. Hmm, Jada encouraged me to break the rules. I kind of doubt anyone else would agree with her. You head for the door. I don't have time to think about that right now. I have to meet Sarah at the suite. You find Sarah filling up the tub with bubble bath. And what do we have here? Only the best idea ever. You, me, and bubbles. She grabs a bottle of champagne. And I mean two kinds. I like it. But a bath together sounds risky. Sarah laughs. We can stay in our undies. Then I say, let's do it. Sarah grins devilishly and you wonder how you're going to resist the temptation. Still, you settle into the bath along with her. Once the water reaches your shoulders, you sigh. Mmm, this tub is incredible. Right? Nothing can make this night better. Hmm, I don't know about that. This night could use, I'ma say, romantic music. I wish I could play some romantic music for you. I'd love that, as long as it's not Theo playing. You chuckle. I really don't want to think about Theo right now. I want to focus on you. She gives you a heated look which causes your heart to skip a beat. You pour out two glasses, then spend the next hour talking. Eventually, Sarah surprises you with a serious question. I've been thinking about something Lana said. Yes? She said we were chosen for this retreat because we avoided serious relationships. And she was right. I used to think romance was a waste of time. But once I got here, I learned the value of slowing down. 
not in agreement. I feel like I learned a lot here too. Oh, you did? I think you made so much progress. Which got me thinking. How come you weren't into serious relationships before? How did I end up being a serial dater? I'ma say I wanted to have fun. I really just wanted to have fun. When you're hot, young, and really love sex, isn't that good enough of a reason? Sarah chuckles. Absolutely it is, but do you still feel the same? No way. Now that you and I have taken time to really build something special here, no meaningless fling out there can measure up. She shoots you a happy smile and you know this is the answer she was hoping to hear. And as minutes pass, Sarah makes you laugh more than you have in a long time. Her hands also keep brushing against your legs and soon you know it's not a coincidence. So, Sarah. Yes? You want to hit the bedroom and dry off? You read my mind. Let's go. And as you watch Sarah walk into the bedroom, you wonder how you're supposed to keep your hands to yourself all night. The question on your mind gets even louder once you see the bedroom. Your jaw drops. Okay, Lana is totally trolling us. Look at this place. You stare in shock around the bedroom. Everywhere you look, there are sex toys. I think you're right. Handcuffs, whips. It's like Lana wants us to break the rules. Sarah grins and grabs a whip. Well, maybe we should go for it then. Sarah. Your mouth almost tells her to stop, but your eyes are telling her to come closer. She slowly moves towards you and doesn't stop until your body is almost flush with hers. Let's have a little fun, Josh. We won't break any rules. We'll just play a little. You stare into her eyes, your heart beating fast. I have always been curious what it would feel like. Then get on the bed. Let's see what you like. You share a smile, then both get on the bed. Sarah comes up behind you and puts a soft hand on your shoulder. Bend over. Then tell me where you want it. Where do I want the sting of the whip? I'ma say my legs. My legs. The backs of my thighs, please. You got it. Sarah holds up the whip and you hold your breath. She hits you gently and there's a bit of pain. But there's a whole lot of pleasure. Oh, I like that. I liked it too, a lot. Sarah puts the whip down and comes to lie beside you. I don't wanna stop, I want you. I want you too. Do I wanna break rules with Sarah? Tell her no. But we shouldn't. Everyone will be so mad at us, especially because there's only a couple of nights left. Sarah pouts. Must you always be the voice of reason? Come on, we can still have a good time. Grab us some glasses and let's talk. Fine, fine. But let's talk about sexy things. You laugh. Deal. Sarah smiles and makes good on her promise. So you enjoy each other's company for the rest of the night. The next morning, everyone is told to gather at the cabana. You and Sarah are the last to arrive and you are immediately the center of attention. They're probably all wondering if we broke the rules. I'm gonna make a joke. You put on a smirk and sigh. What a great night, eh, Sarah? I hope there's enough money left in the prize fund for two coffees and a hearty breakfast. Nobody but Sarah seems to find your joke funny. In fact, the energy just seems to get weirder. Wait, why are you looking at us like that? Before anyone can answer, Lana turns on. Good morning, everyone, and good morning to Josh and Sarah. I hope you had a good night in the suite. We definitely did. Your stay in the suite was the ultimate test of restraint, to further your connection without surrendering to your physical desires. However, this was also a test of trust. You pause, surprised, and turn to Sarah. A test of trust? What is she talking about? Jada looks at you sheepishly. Last night, after you went off to the suite, we had an option to guess what you and Sarah would do, if you would break a rule or not. What?
All right, so that was Too Hot to Handle, episode 10, chapter 37. So yeah, Candace went home um, because she wasn't participating in anything. She didn't make any progress, none of that. So Lana decided to send her home. And then Lana gave me and Sarah the private suite for the night, you know, for the ultimate test of restraint. So we spent the night in the suite. It was nice. We had a little bubble bath. You know, we played with um, the whip. We talked. We had some champagne. It was a very nice, chill, relaxing, alone time. Much needed that we needed. And um, she wanted to break rules, but I was like, nah. I had a feeling Lana was going to do some tests um, with the other group. To, you know, like a trust test and all that. So I didn't want to risk that. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the next morning, went to the cabana. And Lana, of course, announced that. It was also a test of trust and the guys had to decide if we broke the rules or not. So yeah, we're going to find out if they trust me and Sarah and if we lost or gained any more money. <laughs> so if you made it all the way to the end of the video, definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, share this video, share this channel, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.